It is the best three billion dollar investment we make. This I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Giving can be done through Patreon, PayPal, or Cash App. All links are in the description. As stated over the years, if you do give, let it be in accordance with the scriptures. Love you. Let's get it. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Stand Focus for Jesus. Hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ as always. Today is Monday, October 9th, 2023. Monday, October 9th, 2023. The time is currently 827 p.m. We we have a problem. We have a major, major, major problem. Would you agree that Satan counterfeits everything that God does? Would you agree to that? Ten out of ten people would agree that Satan counterfeits everything that God does. The book of Revelation tells us that there is a synagogue of Satan. Some argue it is us, and some argue and say it is it is them. Somebody's lying, right? Well, let's think about this. This is going to hopefully blow your spiritual mind because it's just, it's plain as day. If Satan counterfeits everything that God does, if you have an antichrist, that means you have an anti-Christianity, Right? You have a son of perdition, which would also mean that you have a anti Israel. Hmm. Because Satan presents himself as Christ, counterfeit. Satan has brought forth a false, what we call Christianity. I know some of you don't like that term, but just bear with me which goes completely contrary to the word of God, but presents itself as if it is according to the word of God. We know about Jews are scared. We know about the son of perdition and stuff like that. Therefore, we can most likely, like, most likely conclude that the devil would have a Israel that presents itself as the true Israel, but really isn't, excuse me. Most people would agree with it, agree to that, right? Some of you, your wheels are turning like, okay, I see where you're going, but give me a little bit more. Let me give you a little bit more. The word of God also tells us that Satan blesses his children with good gifts. And the state of Israel is, is very, very powerful. Now, according to what we believe, we believe that they are a part of the synagogue of Satan. Because you also have uh, false converts, false pastors, and false preachers. They would, they too would be included in the synagogue, synagogue of Satan. But in the context we're speaking about, we believe that they are the synagogue of Satan. Very powerful nation. They get all this money from America and other, other people around the world, right? Interesting. If we are the synagogue of Satan, then why are we the tail and not the head? If we are the synagogue of Satan, because these people have been over there for 75 years. If we are the ones that worship the devil, because we would be the synagogue, synagogue of Satan. Why aren't we collectively a nation and have the resources and money 
that they do. Satan counterfeits everything God does right. And the ultimate thing would be to have a fake Israel to deceive the world. Now, somebody may try to make the argument and say, well, you know, this teaching of, of Hebrews being black is a old teaching. It is, but it's not as powerful. And it has not spread around the world and been taught in the history books and is taught every single day for the past 75 something years at least. But their history has. And they've been blessed in their disobedience. Why is it that most of the large corporations that are out there, they're owned by Jewish people? These, these men are multi-billionaires. Why is it that BlackRock, everybody's talking about BlackRock. BlackRock is in the is in the forefront lately. Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock. You know, the same company that has artificial intelligence that's running the stock market, which is pretty much running the world. Satan is using this computer system. Did you know what he claims to be? You got it. He claims to be a Jew, or I should say Jewish. Very, very interesting. All these super ultra rich Jewish people that are in disobedience to their God. Y'all seen the list? Kanye showed you the list. Many others have shown you the list. You've looked the list up for yourself. But that goes in direct contradiction to the word. Or that's only a small group of people in comparison to the people over there. Okay, most of the people over there, I think it was over 50%, they are what we call secular Jews. I think it's called Haloni, 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 something like that. You can go look it up. It's like four, pretty much four groups over there, the main, four main groups. And most of the population, they are what we call secular Jews. They don't really follow it. They follow more the the world and stuff like that. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. And they continue to be be blessed. But you would think it would be the other way around. If we are the synagogue of Satan, then would we not have been brought to the forefront and then people find out later, let's say in 20, 23 years later, that we aren't the people? Hey, those, they're, they're fake. They're fake. They're the synagogue of Satan. Now, why does all this matter? We have a saying that goes, follow the money. And not following the money in the sense of how we, we follow Christ, but money leaves a trail. Money leaves breadcrumbs. And Joe Biden, co-president Joe Biden, said something very, 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 very interesting. Very interesting. Years ago. Let me put it together for you. This is a video I did about two years ago. A little light work, only 269 views, because you know they don't let my stuff get out there, and then um, people don't don't watch it as much as they should when the video drop, and then they wonder, oh, when did you say this? When did you say that? What are you talking about? Well, I did a video on it. That's why I always tell you, go watch the video, go watch the video, go watch the video. This video is pretty much showing you that co-president Joe Biden is a sodomite. He is a sodomite. He supports it, and you know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it like we're gonna leave it at that. He supports it, and you know, why does that matter? Well, because of what he said. The clip I'm gonna show you, not in this video, but another clip at the end. What he said. Think about this. If President Joe Biden is a sodomite, that means he has the spirit of sodomy which means he has the spirit of the devil in him. We can conclude that he is possessed with devils, right? He is the leader of currently the most powerful nation in the world. Right? 
which means the devil is working through him double time, triple time, however you want to put it. He would have some spiritual wickedness in high places in him. So when he speaks, he speaks of his father, the devil. And he says something in his younger years about the creation of the state of Israel, dealing with money. And we know the Bible tells us the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, let me get a few uh, snippets from this video and then we'll get to that. I'm not going to keep you too long. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into it. We have this video. Let's see what Joe Biden has to say. Were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. My father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. Where I am. He said, were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. But his father told him, pointed out to him that he did not need to be a Jew, a physical Jew, <clears throat> excuse me, to be a Zionist. So we go look a little bit at um, Theodore Herzl. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but he's the guy that actually came up with the whole anti-Semitism thing to further push Zionism. So this is a snippet from the book, The Complete Diaries of Theodore Herzl. The anti-Semites will become our most dependable friends. The anti-Semitic countries are allies. We want to immigrate as respected peoples, as respected people. So he goes in and he, uh, what he's talking about with this is using the newspapers and obviously the media of the so-called anti-Semitic uh, people, anti-Semitic nations to push anti-Semitism because anti-Semitism was going to be what they used along with the hollow hoax that didn't happen the way that they say it happened to get the land, to get the land. That's why you see right here it says the Gentile editors will stay here and feel liberated. So you can't read all of it, but if you want to go get the book, you can go get it. So if we look at um, this excerpt, it says it would be an excellent idea to call a respectable accredited anti-Semites as liquidators of property to the people that would vouch for the fact that we do not wish to bring about the impoverishment of the countries that we leave. At first, they must not be given large fees for this. Otherwise, we shall spoil our instruments and make them despicable as stooges of Jews. So if they gave them a lot of money and everything. They, they it was going to be known what they were, what they were doing, you know. And people were going to, uh, you know, mock them for that, mock the uh, the nations that were receiving this money to be used to push this anti-Semitic movement, so they can get the land. Then the last sentence says, later their fees will increase, and in the end we shall have only Gentile officials in the countries from which we have immigrated. So they wanted them here, them here, the Gentile officials in these positions because they could control them. They could control them, control the media and control everything because they were giving them this money. They pretty much, they bought them. Who we are as a people. And as long as I have a breath in me, I will not be satisfied till everyone in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community is afforded the dignity Freedom. Look how this man is looking. This this is creepy. Creepy. I said earlier, this is creepy. Another man's putting a ring on another man's finger, and you're marrying them, and you're smiling like you want to get a piece of the pie, get a piece of the action. The equality that my father spoke so clearly. Well, I don't know if his father's alive, but I know where his father is at. If his father isn't alive, he's burning in hell. And Uncle Uncle Creepy Creepy uh, Creepy Joe, he gonna be there real soon to keep on playing around. I believe that he has uh, been given over to a reprobate mind. 
because that's what the scriptures say. He's not coming to repentance. He's not showing no signs of, of repentance. Well, you don't know. The man has 70 some years. He ain't get it right by now. Former Vice President Joe Biden officiates DNC staffers wedding. Well, we know former Vice President Joe Biden is keeping busy with new roles at the University of Penn and the University of Delaware, but apparently he's not too busy to help some friends tie the knot. Biden officiated a wedding ceremony over the weekend. Henry Munoz, a finance chair of the Democratic National Committee, married Kylie Ferrari. On now, if you notice, let's go over here. You see right up here in the right hand where my pointer is. This is a different um, wedding than this one. So this is at least his second one. This man has officiated at least two same-sex marriages of men. And this is who y'all support. This is who you defend. But you, but you claim to be a Christian. You claim to be a Christian. Oh, we shouldn't judge. Shut up. All right, as you saw from the video clips, it's it's obvious. It's plain as day, plain as a as a clear day with no clouds. Who this man is? Remember, if you have forgotten, he's the leader of the most currently the most powerful nation on this planet, America. The president or co-president of the United States of America who is a sodomite officiated two, at least two that we know about sodomite marriages. So when he speaks, who is he speaking on behalf of? He's speaking on behalf of the devil. He's speaking on behalf of the devil. He is also a Roman Catholic. He's speaking on behalf of the devil. So literally, when he speaks, it is the devil that is speaking. Why is that important? If there were not an Israel, we'd have to invent one. Let's see what's going on right here. If there were not an Israel, we'd have to invent one. Um, it is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. One more time. If there were not an Israel, we'd have to invent one. Um, thank you. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. I was a uh, three. I was three years old, cause it came out in nineteen, yeah, June fifth, nineteen eighty six. I was almost three years old. It is the best three billion dollar investment we made. This is back in nineteen eighty six. To protect our interests in the area. What area is that? You say, Israel, the so called Middle East, to protect our interests in Africa. If, make sure I get it right now. If there were not in Israel, the United States of America would what? Would have to invent an Israel. Remember who this, who this is speaking now. The man that eventually became president of the United States. The man who was possessed by the devil himself and multiple unclean spirits again so when he speaks he speaks according to his father speaking through him who is the devil so the devil is saying that hey if we didn't have this state of israel that i've been able to use we would still have a state of israel because i was going to create one regardless because i'm the antichrist that's what the devil is saying i'm the antichrist and i counterfeit everything that God does. Therefore, if he's speaking through Joe Biden saying, we're going to, we're going to have a fake Israel regardless because it's, it's lucrative. The money we're going to make off of it. And of course, the spiritual aspect to it. 
then we must ask ourselves, y'all ready? Why did Satan use them if they are the people and not use us if we aren't the people to establish a fake Israel with fake Jews? With that being said, <laughs> I don't know y'all want y'all. I don't know why y'all want to keep on messing with us. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why y'all want to keep on doing it to yourself. I love the way that God made me, thinking outside the box, putting things in the way you like. This ain't gonna make no sense. And then, when it comes out, it's like, dang. What are we going to do with that? Nothing at all except repent. With that being said, God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Christ's name. As always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, the truth is not debated. It is declared. <laughs>